on a beautiful August afternoon. I'm very happy and privileged to be sitting here with my pit bull, who's also a therapy dog, dispelling the nature that pit bulls are not great dogs, because they are. Her name is Shelby. She is about four years old, and she's been active in many different forms of therapy, including most recently, a juvenile detention center where we visit on a monthly basis. She brings joy and happiness and hope to many young people in that place. Shelby had been abandoned and tied to a Shell gas station fence for two days in January of 2008. She was then rescued to the Bloomfield Animal Shelter where I was a volunteer and I was very lucky to establish a relationship with her and then bring her into our home. She became our fourth dog, but if we could, we'd have 44 more, especially if they were like her and her canine brothers and sisters. Her journey to a therapy dog has been quite exciting. She's now active in many different forms of therapy as she's been to schools to talk about bullying. She's also been to, most recently, a juvenile detention center. But previous to that, she was active in an adult daycare facility a special needs school, hospital, and a nursing home. Soon after Shelby came into our home, we realized that she had severely damaged back legs from some form of continual abuse. This required two extensive surgeries on both of her back legs, at which time she needed to mend for four months after each surgery. She taught everyone, especially my whole family, a little bit about overcoming obstacles. As a matter of fact, in her situation, she took her obstacle, which was being abused, to being even a more compassionate dog. And I think it made her even a better therapy dog, if that's, if that's possible, even, to be better than she was. Unfortunately, pit bulls get a bad rap. Yes, there's no doubt that our shelters across the country are filled with pit bulls, discarded for one reason or another but unfortunately, again, portrayed as fighting dogs. The reality is they're portrayed as fighting dogs and they're trained as fighting dogs because they are extremely smart and they're extremely loyal, especially to the person who they know the best. This could be used for good instead of for bad. And in Shelby's case and in many others, they could easily be rescued from shelters and trained to be not only therapy dogs, but good household companions. Another fallacy is that bringing another dog into a house with other dogs could be detrimental or they might start to not get along. The reality, dogs are pack animals, they're social animals, and it, we humans could actually learn something from them in the sense of how well they get along with uh, each other, how well they adapt to one another, accept their roles and responsibilities. Usually one is the pack leader and the rest of them fall in. In our house, actually, believe it or not, Shelby isn't the pack leader. The pack leader is a beagle mix. So size doesn't mean everything, and she's actually quite docile to the beagle mix as well as the two dachshunds that live with us. So dogs really get along extremely well. They adapt really well, and again, we could probably learn some lessons from them in getting along with each other. Statistically, even though pit bulls are very smart dogs, and even though they're very loyal dogs, the reality is almost 70 to 80 percent of them will not be trained to fight. They cannot, they will not do it. That only means to me, I'm taking my own assumption here, that they know it's wrong. But although that's good news that they're so smart in this regard and they know that fighting is wrong, the unfortunate circumstance is that there's that many more either roaming the streets or in shelters because they're left to fend on their own if they're of no value to the people that are training them to fight. I'll show you the incredible loyalty of pit bulls. I freely admit that I am a sufferer of anxiety and depression. So bad was I many years ago that I was at the end of my rope with it. But it was Shelby's loyalty, Shelby's companionship, along with my family, of course, that helped me through some really difficult times. This is the loyalty that is out there amongst not only Shelby, but many of her pit bull companions. 
the loyalty that can be shown to people who are either suffering with anxiety and depression, loneliness, or whatever it is, a dog like this, which there are many of them out there dwelling in shelters, could be the answer to your prayers. Yeah, as a therapy dog, I believe that Shelby excels because of her laid-back personality. Some people ask me, is she shy? Is she not friendly? Actually, she's extremely friendly, but she knows enough that in these situations, whether it be a nursing home or a hospital, she can't come on too strong. And it's that very soft interaction that really brings some joy and some compassion and passion to the people that she meets with. Case in point is the juvenile detention facility which we currently visit. She comes into the settings and she usually comes, walks up to the people there and just spends a couple of minutes sitting by their feet and they're able to pet her and it's really a very valued time for both of them.